Hi, my name is Malika Hall, and I am a joint degree student at North Carolina Central University. I am the law school program, or the Juris Doctor program, and the library school program, School of Library and Information Sciences, and I am graduating in the class of 2015. I applied here specifically because North Carolina Central University is the only historical black college and university with a JD MLS program or a law school and library school program joint degree. Um, I applied here specifically for that program and I was waitlisted. Uh, and I got sort of, um, I got accepted to a different law school and I was going to move to Florida to go to that school. And then, then three days before orientation, I got accepted. And um, I sort of believe that when you are on the path that you are supposed to be in your life, things are easy because I was able to get all of my transcripts ordered, all of my information that the school needed as far as uh, admission was concerned. I found an apartment online all in one day. And I was able to come here and the day before orientation and participate in orientation, which I didn't know I was going to be able to do. Um, and from there, it sort of began. I sat through um, law school, which uh, the first year of law school, uh, which is a uh, very, very rigorous schedule. Um, and I was able to come out um, that year with a 3.0 GPA, which is really hard to do. Um, and from there, um, I applied to the library school because you have to go through your first year of law school before you can apply to the library school. That's the law school's rules and, um, and the library school's um, hardline rule. And I was accepted there and I began in 2013 in the library school and the law school. And I was also a graduate assistant and I worked here in the Sliss Library. Um, part-time 20 hours a week on the reference desk. There wasn't a semester where I didn't have at least 15 hours and I then had to do in the summer I had 16 hours because we were going to Denmark with the study abroad program that the School of Library and Information Sciences offers. Dr. Um, Ismail Abdullahi, he was actually I think he was in Singapore or something. He, he's a traveling man, he's always all everywhere and so he basically did Skyped in um, to the actual orientation and he talked about having a study abroad trip to Denmark. We started off with a lot of students that were going to go and then we got down to I think seven of us that were on campus, well three of us that were on campus, four of us that were online students but in the area and then he actually, because again he's a traveling man, he was doing a, speak, doing a speaking engagement in Thailand and met three students there and they decided that they were all going to go. And we ended up in Denmark, um, a place I had never been to Europe before. So you know you don't, you don't have expectations, or but you anticipate going. And lots of old buildings that still are existing, lots of cobblestone streets, lots of really, really, really advanced designed libraries, and just the idea of as the library is being built or they're going to redesign, they actually go out into the community and they say, what would you like your library to look like? So before they even spend any money on things that people aren't going to use or people don't find helpful, they go out and they find out what is helpful. And then they sort of create projects based on their interactions with the community. And it sort of makes me, as I go into my career and I start to manage my own library, it sort of makes me want to do projects like that to make sure that I'm actually serving my purpose, which is to help the people of the community. Malika at one point asked me to do a reference for her and as you know pr professors get requests all the time to do letters of reference and she was uh, a very easy person to do a letter of reference for because she does so much in her department. Um, just the very day she asked for the reference she had attended at least two meetings for uh, different student organizations in the department and she really is um, probably the most outstanding student for participation um, that I've encountered so far here. My mother passed away in um, November and when she passed away the people and the students of this university stood up for me in a way that I am forever grateful whether it was cards, 
whether it was letters, email posts, Facebook posts, anything along those lines. They even helped to donate to help pay for my mother's services. And when I came back, when I made the decision to come back, and I was going through a rough time, and people would come up and they would talk, they, I was explaining to them that it was hard and that I didn't want to talk about it every day. And they respected that. And the fact that they did so made me happy that I made the decision to come back. And it makes me even more happy to stand with people of that caliber and graduate with them and walk across the stage with them. It is my honor. In a program like ours, which is um, intensive and the classes are very concentrated because it's, de it's designed to uh, combine both a law degree and a degree in our, our area, library and information science, uh, in, in a shorter period of time than it would take to do both programs. And so it requires an enormous amount of effort and concentration and self-sacrifice on the part of the students. And she went through um, um, that, losing her mother. And um, it, um, we all know that that was a profound loss for her, but she was able to handle that very well. Um, law school finals in conjunction with library school finals all at the same time was quite difficult. But I made it, as I said before, I still have maintained my GPAs and I'm going to graduate from the library school at the top of the class. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's definitely hard. This isn't something where you can take this on and because an undergrad you got a 4.0 and everything and you barely had to try um, or whatever your story is. This law school, and if you're doing any joint degree programs, in conjunction with law school is the hardest thing that you are going to have to do. Law school is three years. It's the scare you to death year is the first year. Second year is work you to death. Third year is bore you to death. I'm in my third year. I haven't been bored yet. But uh, the second year was definitely the work you to death year. But um, now I set up my schedule, as I said before, as um, no finals in my final semester of law school. However, library school does have finals. <laughs> so my finals were specific, specifically for the SLIS program or the library school program. And so now I'm graduating. Come in with your worker hat on. This isn't something that you can come into and believe that you can breathe through this. There are a lot of students who came here with me who are not graduating with me. And it's not because they're not smart, it's not because they didn't work hard, it's because this program requires all of you. And if you can't give that, I'm not sure about your success level. Um, also, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. I'm 33 years old, I'm gonna be 34, and I'm graduating with people who are in their 20s. So, if you have a dream and you have a goal and you want to accomplish that goal, go for it, go for it, and give it your all. I am very proud to be an Eagle.